Today we are starting off with a yellow based cup. I am applying some glitter gold plated XL from It's Pretty Personal via epoxy method. I like to take my finger and rub it up against the rim at the top, pat down all of the chunky glitters so that I don't have any areas sticking up. The bottom on this we don't need to worry about. I like to seal my glitter with polycuric until dry and then we will epoxy until smooth. Grab your transfer tape and your decals. I'm doing just a drip decal on this one. And then I was informed <laughs> that honeycombs have a direction. So the little point should be facing up. So when you do do your bee cups, if you don't want people to get on you about how your honeycombs are supposed to be placed, make sure the little point is pointing up. So I hear that's what you're supposed to do. So after using the 631 vinyl and applying all of our decals, we will be ready to head outside and we're going to spray paint this white. I use Rust-Oleum two times. I prefer to use a matte spray paint. After that is all spray painted, we're going to grab our alcohol ink. I am using Honeycomb by Tim Holtz. We will also be using some 91% alcohol. I have a lid in a little spray bottle. I, we will also be making use of some saran wrap. I am using a little dauber thing that's just basically a piece of cotton to apply my alcohol ink all over the cup. I'm just going to keep going over that until I have the entire surface covered or mostly covered. I try not to overlap a ton. So once that's all covered, then we're going to take our saran wrap. We're going to bunch it up into a ball to make it have lots of wrinkles in there. Once we have that all ready, we're gonna grab our alcohol and we're gonna spray it directly onto the cup. This is gonna make our inks run a little bit. I used the saran wrap to get it so you, bad light, sorry, so that it kind of leaves a watercolor washed out look and it doesn't cover the whole surface because it's just got all those creases in it so you continue to spray on your cup and just keep dabbing until you kind of have the look that you are going for this is all total personal preference so here i'm showing you i've kind of dabbed it a lot i have some darker areas i have some lighter areas once we have that done i'm going to go ahead and kind of redo my saran wrap, get myself a new surface. I'm gonna spray alcohol and I'm gonna put some ink directly onto the saran wrap. I'm going to dab that onto my cup. This is gonna give me some darker areas and if you give it a little blow job, it kind of watercolors it. It spreads it out and you don't get so many of the little dots that you would from the spray. So this is just gonna give me some more depth to my honey look. So spraying the alcohol on the saran wrap and adding your ink, it just really gives you kind of more depth, in my opinion. I just like doing it this way. <laughs> so after we have that done, we're going to go in and I want to, my goal here is to make it look washed out. So it's all kind of smooth, kind of like honey, darker in some areas, lighter in some areas. So here our cup is still pretty dark in a lot of the areas from where we just applied our ink. So now I'm taking some more saran wrap. I am just using alcohol sprayed on there. I'm dousing it, well, dabbing it onto my cup and I'm blowing on that and that is giving me the more washed out look. Once you have your cup to where you like it, you go ahead and you just start peeling off your vinyl decals. And this is my favorite part of peekaboos. I am using a pin pin from 143 vinyl my favorite weeding tool ever. Mine has been well used and abused, <laughs> but it's still holding out strong. Anyways, so go ahead and get all of your vinyl removed. Once that is done, you're going to, once you let it fully dry, we're going to go ahead and clean up the rim a little bit because chances are you will have a little bit of white spray paint up there that got underneath your decal. So go ahead and clean that up with a little bit of acetone and then we're going to move into epoxy. After you have your cup epoxied, you will add your water slide decals and then do your final layer of epoxy.